a great webinar. I'm going to teach you how to build a five-page website from scratch. That's right, from scratch. And guess what? You can do it for free, absolutely free. So you're going to enjoy this webinar. Get comfortable. Get yourself some coffee, whatever you got to get. Get some water. Uh, we're going to be here for a little while, but I hope you enjoy this webinar. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and go to my website, PastorDre.com. Okay, I, you can see it right here. This is the website I want you to go to, PastorDre.com. Okay, and then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and click right here where it says free website. I want you to click there, and it's going to take you to a page that looks just like this. Okay, once it loads up. Okay, let me hide this here. Okay, and then when you get once you get to this page, we're going to need to decide on a, a domain name for your website. We need to see if it's available. So then that now this is a free website, and this is going to be able to create a website on a subdomain. Now, if you want your own domain name, then you would need to pay for that. It's probably like ten dollars a, a year, but um, I'm going to show you how to do everything for free. So your website is going to be whatever you choose here, dot siterubix.com. So for example, I'll just say that mine is, I want my website to be, say I'm the On Fire Church or the Radical Church, okay? So I type in the Radical, I need to see if it's available, the Radical Church, and it's going to tell me if it's available. Okay, cool, it's available. So you want to make sure that your domain name is available if it's for your church, for your business, for your ministry. Uh, so you say your church is the Radical Church or the On Fire Church, whatever the name of your church, you just go ahead and put it there or whatever you want your domain to be. And what a domain is, is like Yahoo.com, Google.com, Facebook.com. It's the place that people visit you on the website. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the Radical Church dot site rubix dot com and let's start building our website it says it's available so let's click build free website now what i want to do is i want to go back here i want to show you exactly what's going to pop up so i'm going to right click on here okay let me open this in a incognito window that way i can show you exactly what is going to pop up here okay so i'm going to go here okay so we're going to go to an incognito window to show you exactly what is going to pop up so that way I could walk you through the process. Okay, so I'm going to say the Radical Church. Boom. Then I'm going to click build my free website. Okay, I already know that mine is available. So you need to make sure it's available. Okay, so what's going to pop up is going to be this thing here. You need to enter your email address. I want you to enter your name. Choose a username. And then you choose a password. Okay, now. The reason you have to sign up because you're signing up to a community. Now, this community is so cool. It teaches you how to get traffic to your website. It, it, it teaches you a lot of things, keyword, it, keyword research, SEO, which is basically how to get traffic to your website. Because what good is it to have a church website that nobody's visiting? So this community teaches you how to do all that. Okay, now you're signing up for a free membership. There is a paid membership. So you get free or paid. Uh, but you could go either way. Now, with the paid membership, you get so much more tutorials and videos and things that are amazing. But you don't have to pay, do the paid one. Now, here's the cool thing. If you do decide to sign up for the paid one, I'll get a little commission. Even if you join a free or paid, I am an affiliate, so they'll give me a little bit of love. Okay, so go ahead and fill this out. Enter your email address. Enter your name. Choose your username. Choose your password. And then click go to my account. Okay, now after you click go to my account, you're going to get a page that looks like this. Let me show you. You're going to get a page that looks just like this. Okay, now what I want you to do, hold on one second, let me unmute this here right quick. Hold on one second. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and click where it says free domain. I want you to click right there. Okay, now re-enter your domain because we at first we had to make sure it was available. So now we know it's available. So I'm going to put the Radical Church was my domain. Okay, the Radical Church. All right, and then I want you to enter a title for your website. I'm just going to say the Radical Church. You could put your church name. Uh, I think that would be perfect. And then here, 
Choose a, deals, choose a design for your website. You're only going to have one. I have a lot because I'm a premium member. I do the paid membership. So go ahead and click this first theme right here, choose theme. And then I want you to click build my website. So it's going to take a little while. It's going to take a few minutes and it's going to start building your website. And it's going to uh, give you access to your dashboard, which is where all the fun is going to take place. Now, I'm going to show you while this is loading up. It's got about 99% done. I'm going to show you what the goal of our website is to look like, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to go ahead to a website that I built already, my church website, .siterubix.com. I'm going to show you step-by-step step on how to build a website like this. This is our goal from scratch, okay? So it's going to tell you to go ahead and log in. This is going to give you your admin, and it's going to give you your password. And then you just click log in right here, okay? So go ahead and click that. And we're going to go from scratch. Now, remember, this is our goal. This is our goal right here. Okay. Now, we are going to start from scratch. And this is what we have so far. Now, the cool thing, as soon as you set everything up, as soon as you log in and everything, your website is live on the Internet. So, if I, if I click here and I want to visit the website, it's going to tell you how it looks right now. The Radical Church, .site, .com, this is how our website looks. It's live. So you don't have to wait a day or two days. As soon as you sign up, as soon as you set up, you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so let's get started. Like I said, get comfortable. Let me get some water too. I got some water right here. Let me take a little sip of it. If you got a pen, you got a notepad, there is a live chat. So I'll go ahead and post it in the chat now. I'll just go ahead and say hi. So if you want to talk to me, boom, I'm saying hi to everybody right there. I am under the guest account. Okay, so if you have any questions during the live webinar, this is all the way live unless you're watching the on-demand version, but this is live. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the chat. Okay, so this is our website. This is how it looks now. This is our goal, and this is our dashboard. So once you log in here, what I'm going to show you how to do now is I'm going to show you how to add this first image right here. So let's get to work. First thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, um, settings. I'm sorry, not settings, appearance. And then you want to go to customize. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and go there. All right. And then I want you to go where it says site identity. I want you to click there. Okay. Now where it says select logo, click there. Now, I have images already saved on my hard drive. So I'm going to be using some basic images that I designed in Photoshop. This is an image. Now, if you have a graphic designer at your church who's really good, he could probably make it look way better or she could make it look way better than this. This is just real basic stuff. But I'm going to show you the basics and then you could take it from there. OK, so let's go back. So I already have some. Let me start again so you, can, so you don't get lost. OK, so where did I go? Let's start over. I'm in the dashboard. I went to appearance and I went to customize. Okay, appearance, customize. Click that. Okay, and it's going to take you to a page that looks just like this. I want you to click site identity and then click select logo. And now I'm going to go to my hard drive and I'm going to get that image. So I'm going to go to select files and then I'm going to go to my hard drive where my image is stored. Okay, let me just go there. And like I said, you could design a nice image. So let me go to my images. Okay, so here's my images. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the top banner. Boom. Okay, and you could put whatever image you want. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll put a link in the chat to the images. Maybe I could do that for you. So I'll do that. Um, let me. I could do that for you now. Okay, so here's the image. So let me go ahead and grab this URL of the image. Copy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select that image. There's the image. Okay, so then I'm going to spread it out a little bit. Spread it out. Make sure you see the whole image. I'm cropping the image. And then you, could, you click Crop Image. Okay? And it's going to take a little while. It's going to crop your image. Now, here's the cool thing. It's going to take this image and put it at the top. You see that? All right, and then the next thing I want you to do is I want you to uh, 
go back. See this left arrow? I want you to go back. And then I want you to go to layout. And then I want you to go to header. And then I want you to go to header alignment. And then I want you to click here. And I want you to click center. Boom. Then I want you to click publish. Okay. So let me go ahead and put the link in the chat for you to this video. Sorry about the double screen. But let me just put that in there for you. Okay. So there's the link to the image in case you want to use the image or you want to get the dimensions of the image for your graphic designer. Okay. So there's the link. All right. So now what I did is I centered the image so and I published it. So let's go ahead and go back. Now, if you notice, we have writing here. We want to get rid of that. Me personally, I don't want that on there. You can leave it if you like it. But the way you change this writing is you just go back to where it says site identity. You go back there to where it says site title, the radical church. You click hide site title. See where it says tagline? See where it says hide site tagline? You click there. So it'll hide it. Now, to change it, you just click on it. You can say the church that, let's see, the church that is radical okay then you click publish and then that'll change it for you now if you wanted to show you just take that out and it'll it'll show up over here but my personal preference is i don't want it so i'm just going to click that and then i'm going to click publish okay now what i want us to do is i want us to go to our actual site remember our goal is this our site looks like this right now so what we're going to do is we're going to click refresh and hopefully our banner will show up there it is Okay, so we just added the top part. Boom, boom. All right, so now let's work on the second part. We're going to work on this menu right here. Okay, so what I want you to do, we're going to go back to our dashboard after clicking here. Click the X. Now get used to that term dashboard because that's where a lot of the fun takes place, and that's where a lot of designing of your website takes place. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to go to Pages. Click Pages. And right now we're going to put five pages on our website okay we're going to put five pages so i want you to go to sample page trash keep the privacy policy go ahead and keep that go to add new and we're going to start off with the first page is going to be our home page so type in home right there click publish the next page we want to do let's see what they have home live webcast podcast small groups blog contact us okay the next page we're going to do is live webcast so you go to Add new, and you type in live webcast, okay? And then you click publish. Next page, we're going to click add new, and we're going to click make blog. Let's make a blog, okay? Next page, I want you to go ahead and click add new, and let's type in contact us. Con, let's see, contact us. Okay, and then the next page, let's just do five. Uh, let's do uh, small groups. We'll do a small groups page. Okay, so you click add new, and then you type in small groups. Small groups, and you click publish. Okay, so now when we go to our website, this is how our website's looking now. I want us to hit refresh. We should have five pages that show up there. Okay, so we're getting close. We already got the head, the heading, and we've just added. They have six, but we're gonna do five. Okay, we'll do it like that. Okay, so you got one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Okay, so now if you want to add more pages, you could do six. All you gotta do is click Add New and hit the page, and you just continue the process. What I'm gonna show you, it's the same pretty much for every page. All right, so let's click Dashboard. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a website instead of a blog. Right now it's showing you a blog. So I'm going to show you how to make it a website. So I want you to go back to your dashboard. Okay, get used to dashboard. Now, if you ever get logged out of your dashboard, when you go to log in, when you first click log in, here is your login password. I mean, your login uh, username. And here's your password. Yours is different from mine. Okay, and to order, in order to log in from any computer, you want to go to this URL here. Like, I'm going to right-click it for you. And I'm going to open it up in an incognito window. And it's going to ask me for a username and a password. Okay. 
So when you what you would type here, where it says username, you would type admin. Let's go ahead and do it for you real quick. And then you would go back and get your password, which you could copy. You, sh you should write this down somewhere, okay, or store it on your hard drive. So that way you could log in from anywhere on the internet. Okay, and then you type, paste your password, you click log in, and it'll take you to your dashboard. Okay, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and close that because we're already logged in over here. So we're in our dashboard. So now what I want you to do is we're going to reorganize these. It says home, live webcast, blog, contact, and small groups. We're going to change the order. Let me show you how to do that. Go to your dashboard. Go to appearance. Then you click uh, menu. See what says menu? You click that. Okay, and then your menu is going to load up. Here's your menu. In order to change the order of it, you click and drag on the one you want to move, and you just move it where you want it to go. But make sure it's all the way to the left. If you move it to the right, it's going to be like a submenu. You don't want that. You want it to be to the left, okay? Because if it's a submenu, it's going to be under this one. So you just move it to the left, okay? So we want to do home. Let's do blog. Let's do small groups. Let's move contact us to last. Let's move live webcast to second. So we got home, live webcast, blog, small groups, home, contact us, and go ahead and hit create menu. Now, if you notice, there are two home pages. One of them is your default home page. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the one that says custom link. I'm going to delete that. Okay. And I'm just going to remove it. And then you're going to keep this home page. Okay. So let's move that one to the top. Let's hit save menu. All right. Now, when we go refresh our website, let's go ahead and refresh it. Here we got home, live webcast, blog. Oh, wait. It didn't refresh. Uh-oh, let me see. Oh, okay, let me, I forgot to tell you. See where it says primary menu? You want to click that. Sorry about that. So then you click save menu. Always make sure that's clicked because then it won't change like just like it did for me right now. It didn't change. So make sure that's clicked. Okay, so now that that's clicked, I'm going to go back and I'm going to refresh. And now it should change the order. There we go. Home, live webcast, blog, small groups, contact us. Home, live webcast, blog, small groups, contact us. And like I said, if you want to change it, you just click and drag. All right? Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. Now we're going to change it from a blog to a website. The way you do that is I want you to go to settings and then reading. I want you to click reading right here. See where it says static page? Click that. See where it says home page? I want you to click home. See where it says post page? I want you to click where it says blog, click that. And then I want you to click save changes. Okay, now I want you to go back to the website. This is our website. Let's hit refresh. And let's see how it looks. Now you have a website. See, the other one was a blog layout. Now this is a website layout. And we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so now we have our pages, right? We got our header. We got our pages. Now... We need to start building the text. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to dashboard. And I want you to go where it says settings. And I want you to go where it says writing. Click that for me. Okay, what I want you to do, see where it says block editor? Click that. Where it says allow users to switch editors? Click yes. Scroll down and click save changes. Okay, go back to dashboard. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add this writing right here. So we're going to work on what's called our home page. So you go to your dashboard, whatever page you want to work on, you go to pages. And then you select the page. So we want to work on our home page. So let's go ahead and click edit with block editor. You click that. Okay. Page is going to load up. Now, the page that loads up, you can close that, is your home page. So whatever changes you make here is going to show up on this page. So for the sake of time, I'm just going to copy this text. I could type it in, but I'm just going to copy it for the sake of time. Okay? And then I just go here, and I paste it in. Boom. You could type it. Let me just type the first one for you. Okay, so I could type in, welcome to the on fire church okay now watch what's cool i'm gonna hit update okay 
going to hit update. If I go to our website, this is our live website. If we refresh it, watch what happens. Welcome to the church. Welcome to the On Fire Church. So what we wrote here goes live when you refresh the page. But if you notice, our goal is to get it to look like this. This one's really big. How do we get it to be big like that? You go back to the page. I want you to highlight. Okay, see this little thing here? Click that. See where it says heading? Click that. See how I made it bigger? See where it says H2? Click that. And I want you to click H1. There you go. Then I want you to highlight it. And I want you to click the B that says bold. Click that. And then see where it says right here, change text alignment. Click on that. And I want you to click center. Okay, then you click away. And you click update. All right. Now, what I want you to do is go ahead and refresh your website. And there it is. Now it's big like the other one. Okay. Now, how do you get rid of this home thing here? Me personally, I don't like it. If you like it, you can leave it. But the goal of the one we're looking for doesn't have that. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of where it says home. Okay. But if, like I said, if you like it, you can leave it. You stay on your home page. Scroll down to the right over here. And then I want you to see where it says disable elements. Click there. And see where it says content title? Click there. And then I want you to click update. Okay, now when we refresh our home page, watch what happens to the letters home right here. Watch what happens. We're going to refresh. Gone. So that's how you get rid of that. Once again, disable elements. Tick the box. Now, another thing I want you to notice is we have some side stuff over here. This website doesn't have that. How do you get rid of that? Go back to your home page. Go back to your home page, okay? Then what I want you to do is see where it says sidebars. Click there, okay? Then see where it says content sidebar, sidebar content, content no sidebars. We want that one. I want you to go ahead and select that and then click update, okay? So now watch what's going to happen. This is our home page. I want to refresh. Now watch what happens. The sidebars are gone. Okay, so that's how you do that. So now our goal is we need to go get this text. We want to put this text. So I'm just going to copy and paste. I showed you how to type it in for the sake of time. So you just click on the line below where it says start writing or type. You just click. And then I'm going to paste. Boom. There you go. And I'm going to highlight it because I want to center it. So I'm going to click these lines. And I'm going to click align text center. Boom. And then you click away anywhere on the page. And then click update. Now let's go to our website. Let's click refresh. See what happens. There you go. So now you got the header. You got your pages. You got this text here. And you have this text here. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Now how do you add the images? Let me get a little bit of water. And I'm going to show you how to add these three things right here. One second. Okay, so now to add these three images, once again, these are images that I made in Photoshop, real basic. I'm not a graphic designer. So like I said, if you have a graphic designer, he or she can make something really nice for you. So to put the images, all you do is you go to the plus here. You're still on your homepage. You go to plus, and I want you to click in this box, and I want you to type the word columns. And there's going to be a box that appears. I want you to go ahead and click that box. Okay. Boom. And then I want you to choose three columns. This one here. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to click the plus, And I want you to type in image. I-M-A-G-E. Oops. I-M-A-G-E. And then there you go. I want you to click that. Okay. Do the same thing for this one. Go over here. And do image. And click image. Go over here on this one. I want you to click the plus, And I want you to do image. Okay. There you go. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go to media library. Now you need to have an image saved. Okay. Like I said, these images are on my hard drive. So you can upload any image you want. And what I'll do is I'll put the link in the video to these images also in case you want to use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my hard drive. So I'm going to go to upload. Okay. And here's my live webcast image. So 
So I'm going to click that, double click it, and it shows up because it's already saved on my hard drive. Okay. Then I'm going to go to upload. Boom. Then I'm going to get my church podcast image. Double click, and that's going to load up. Then I'm going to go to upload. And then I'm going to go to my small groups image, which is here. I'm going to double click. That's going to upload. Okay. So let me do this. Let me get the links for these for you. See if I can get the links for you. Let me see here. Yeah, okay. So here's the link. So I'm going to right-click it. And I'm going to put it in the in the uh, chat for you. Forgive the doubling of the screen real quick, but I just got to post it in the chat for you, okay? Boom. There you go. That's the link to that image. So I'm going to go get the link to this image over here. Okay. Give me one second. For, forgive the doubling of the screen again. Okay, so let me just go ahead and paste that. Okay, there's your there's the link to the second image. I'm going to give you the link to the third image. I'm going to click it here. I'm going to get the link. Copy link address. And then I'm going to, oops, sorry about that. Let's go here. And let's put the link to that image. Okay, so there's all the links to the images that I'm actually using. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and click update. But if you notice, these images are not centered. So how do you center them? You click on the image. Remember these lines I told you here? You click it, and you click a line center. Now watch what happens to the image. It moved over. Same thing with this one. You click, go to the lines, a line center. See how it moves over? You click, go to a line center, click it, see how it moves over. Then you click update. And then when you go here now, we're going to refresh our existing website, which is live. You click refresh. Nice. So look, we're almost to our goal almost. We're almost to the goal already. Okay. And there, there's our website. And all what I've showed you so far, you can do for absolutely free. Okay. It may not be the best looking website, but hey, it's free. And if you don't have a website for your church, this is the perfect place to get started. OK, perfect place, because we all know uh, there's a lot of lockdowns going on. Some churches can't meet in their building. If you don't have a website, it's like you don't have a church building. So I'm showing you how to get a website for free. Good. I'm glad you're promoting your services on social media, Facebook and YouTube. But that's leased property. When you build a website, it's property you own. And that's a whole nother teaching for another day. But you, this is how you can get a website for free. OK. All right. So. We've got our images. Now, what's cool about this is if you click on this website's images, look what, what happens. It takes you to that actual page. How do you do that? Let me show you how to do it. Okay, to add a link to your images, you click on it. See this little link here? You click that. So what I'm going to do is there's a few ways you can get the link to a page. One is you go to the actual page. So we're going to try to link to our live webcast page. So I'm going to click on it. Okay. And if I go to the top here, this is the link. So you click on it, select it, you copy it. That's the first way. The second way is you go to your menu, you right click on PC. I'm not for sure what it is on a Mac. And it's going to say copy link address. You could do it like that. So then I go back to the dashboard. Okay. I click on the link. I go to that little chain thing and I put the link right in that box. And then I click this arrow and then I click update. Now watch what's going to happen. I'm going to refresh our website. I'm going to go to the home page. Now watch what happens when I click on the link. It's going to take me to the live webcast page. So let's do that for the other pages. We're going to go here to church podcast. I'm going to go back and we're going to right click or where's our church podcast. We didn't do podcast. Huh? All right, let me add a podcast page. Okay, so you should be able to tell me how to do it. How do I do it? Go back to the dashboard. I go to add new. Right? And then it's going to load up. And then there's going to be a thing that says uh, title. So I'm going to put podcast. And then I'm gonna click publish. And I'm going to click publish again. So we just added another page. So now I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, and I'm going to refresh. And there's our podcast. So 
So now what we got to do is we got to go to our, our, our menu. Let's go to our menu, appearance menu, and let's decide the order we want. So we got to add our podcast now. So the way you add it, this is good. I'm glad I did that. So whenever you create a new page, this is the process you have to go through. So you want to click on the page you want to add. If you notice, podcast is not over here. So you click and then you click add to menu. We just added another page. You went from a five-page website to a six-page website. So let's put our podcast uh, after the small groups. Okay, like I said, make sure it's all the way to the left. Click Save Menu. All right, and then we're going to click Refresh. And there's your podcast. It's added. So now we want to go to the home page, and we want to click. We'll make this image link to our podcast. So we go back. Okay, this is our dashboard. We're going to go to pages and remember we're working on our home page so you want to select your home page right here and you want to click edit with block editor okay and then once you edit it's going to give you the option to make changes to your home page so let's click on our image right let's go get the link how do we get the link you could either right click here or you could click on it and it'll take that url from up there which i'm going to do so i'm going to select it copy Go to the image, click the link, and then paste the link in the box there. And then I'm going to click that arrow. Okay, and then I'm going to click update. Always try to remember to update and save your changes. That's very important. Okay, small groups, let's do the same thing. Let's go over here. Let's uh, right click, click copy link address, go to back to our home page, click the image, click the link, paste it in the box there and click that arrow and click update. So now, when we go to our homepage and we click refresh, we go to our website, we click refresh, we go to our homepage. Whenever I click any one of these images, it should take me to that page. Let's try it out. Let's click church podcast. There's our podcast page. Let's go back. If I click small groups, there's our small groups page. Isn't that cool? So now you have a six page website looking pretty good our goal is to get it to look like this you're all you're like 70 percent there right only thing you're missing is the video so let me show you how to add that okay so now what we want to do is we're on our home page you want to click plus and you want to type in the word video video and then you click video and look what it gives you it gives you an option to add a video now here's the cool thing I'm really going to take my time here. If you have a YouTube channel, you could insert any YouTube video from your channel into your website. Okay? Now, say you make a welcome video. You make a, a first-time guest video. It could be on your phone. It doesn't have to be professional. Okay? As long as your quality is decent. With phones nowadays, some of the video cameras are better than the ones you buy in the store. So, you, you can use your phone. You upload it to YouTube, and then once you do that, you can put that video on your website. Let me show you how. So I'm going to go to YouTube, okay? And YouTube will store the video for you for free. You can make a YouTube account for free. So I'm going to type in Victory Outreach Cape Town. Let's type that in, Victory Outreach Cape Town. And I'm going to use one of our videos. All right, so let's just use... Um, Let's use this video, okay? So what I need to do, I choose the video I want. And then I go to the uh, where it says share. I'm going to click there. And then I go where it says copy. You're going to click there. Now, here's the deal. Remember when we said insert video? The option you want to choose is insert from URL. You click there. And then you take the URL you copied from YouTube and you paste it in there. Click the arrow, watch what happens. There's your video. And you click update. Okay, let's go to our website. This is ours. This is our goal website. This is the one we actually have. Let's click refresh. There's a video. Now, how do you make the video bigger? It's kind of small. What I usually do is this. I go here and I hit plus. And I choose columns again. So I would type in columns. Go ahead and type in the word columns. Show you a little secret. And you click the columns. And I'm going to do the three columns. Okay. 
But you want it, you don't want it to be small like that. You want it to be on its own, okay? Because this is a part of this area here. You don't want that. You want to go down here where this black plus is, okay? And then you hit plus. Then you select columns, and it's going to give you the full width. And the way you delete anything is you just click on it. See the three dots? You click that. You click remove block. That's all you got to do. You click on this. You want to remove these three things here. You click on it. Three dots. Remove block. You want to remove this one. Click on it. Let me see. Click, click around it. There you go. Three dots. Remove block. Click around this one. Three dots. Remove block. You're good. Okay, so now we want to remove this one, three dots, remove block. So now we have the full width. We don't want it in a corner. We want full width. Okay, and I want you to select three. Okay, and I want you to go ahead and hit update. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. I want you to go ahead and get this plus, and I want you to click video, or you can even click YouTube. Just put it right there. Okay, so now we're going to go back to YouTube. Whatever video you want from YouTube, maybe you uploaded a shout out from the senior pastor, a shout out from your greetings team, uh, whatever video. Okay, it's on YouTube. You go to share and you click copy. You go back to your website and you put that URL right there in that box and then you click embed. Boom. This is good stuff. This is a secret right here. You click update. Now watch, I'm going to show you something. Now when I refresh this website, watch this. Now the video is in the middle. It's still small, but it's in the middle. How do you make it bigger? The reason I did three columns is I'm not going to put anything in these columns. I'm going to use them as spacers. So what I want you to do is you click around here. If you go to the left, it's going to say percentage. I mean, to the right, it's going to say percentage width. Slide that over till about 20. See how it's getting bigger? The video is getting bigger. See that? Okay. Boom. Then I want you to go over here and slide this one till about 20. Now look at the video. It's getting bigger. You see that? Now I want you to hit update. Then I want you to go back over to your website and click refresh. Watch how big the video gets. There you go. Ooh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Okay, now you can make it bigger or smaller. The way you make it bigger or smaller is you just come over here. Say you can make this 15 if you want it to be bigger. See how it's getting bigger or smaller? So whatever you want. So I'm going to uh, leave it at 20. I kind of like that size for the home page. Okay, so let's, let me just, you could either type it in also. So I'm going to type in 20 and we're going to click update. All right, so now when we click refresh, we're, we're that's rocking. That's a free website. Six page website, nice little home page. You got your menu, you got a welcome, and you can change it to whatever you want. Welcome to the radical church. So let me see if I want to change that. Welcome to the radical church. I just click where I want to change it, click on it, erase it. Welcome to the, and I can just type in the word radical. Boom, welcome to the radical church. Click update. I go to the actual website and hit refresh says welcome to the radical church and then i you know i could change this graphic here but these are the basics to get you started and the cool thing is if i click here on live webcast it takes me to the webcast page click here takes me to the blog page click here takes me to the small groups page click here takes me to the podcast page click here takes me to the contact us page all right so let me let me share something with you really quick this is powerful we're going to work on our live webcast page right now now say you know this could be a greeting video you know, it, it, whatever video you want, okay? Now, if you go to your live webcast page, say you want to start broadcasting your services on your website. Now, listen to me closely. Broadcasting your services on YouTube and Facebook is cool. Directing people to YouTube and Facebook is cool, but you want to direct them to your website. And let me tell you why. If I watch your service on YouTube, there's no giving button. There's no get connected button. If I watch you on Facebook, there's no giving button. There's no contact us button. But if I watch it on your website, look at all these options I have. I can read your blog. I can get more information on your small groups. I can listen to your podcast. 
and I can contact you. And you could even add a giving page where I could give my tithes and offerings while I'm still watching the service. That's why you want to direct people to your website. Okay, so let me show you how to put your live webcast on your website. So when you are broadcasting your service on Sunday morning, you say, go to our website to watch our live webcast. And then they could choose if they want to watch it on Facebook or YouTube, but they choose from your website. Man, that, that'll preach. Okay, and that's the best way to go. Okay, because a lot of people are directing people to social media, which is cool. But what if your account gets banned? You see? Uh, and then and then you're stuck. Like I said, Facebook and YouTube is rented property, <laughs> but your website is your property that you own. Man, that could preach right there. All right, good stuff. Like if you go to our church website, vocapetown.org, it gives you the option to watch YouTube or Facebook. Okay, but you want to direct people to your website. All right, good stuff. All right, so how do you add the live webcast? All right, so you go to pages. Then you go to live webcast and you click edit block editor. Okay, so now we're going to start working on our live webcast page. Okay, so here's our live webcast. Let's take a look and see how it looks. So we're going to go to our website, which is this is the one we're working on. This is our goal, which we pretty much are there. Okay, so let's click on the live webcast page, and this is how it looks now. I showed you how to remove this and how to remove the, the title. Me personally, I'm going to leave the title, but I'm going to remove this on the side here. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to leave the title, and I want to remove the sidebar. So I'm going to click Content, No Sidebars, click Update. Whatever your taste is, I've showed you how to do it. You decide what your taste is. I'm going to click Refresh. I like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the live webcast page. Okay, that's where we're at. And what I want you to do is start typing. I want you to put Welcome. To our live webcast and you could put your times like we are live every Sunday from at 9 a.m. boom if you want to make it bigger you just highlight it you go to this little thing here click heading and there's bigger you want to make it bold you click the B there you go and you could type more stuff, but I'm just showing you basics, okay? Welcome to our live webcast. We are live every Sunday at 9 a.m. Then you click the plus, okay? And then you click YouTube. Now, here is the deal. This is top-notch stuff, and this is top secret. Okay, fam, here we go. So now what I want to do is I want to show you how you can add a live stream a video to your live webcast page. So whenever you go live, this will automatically update and play the live video. So you go live Sunday morning, your this will automatically start playing live for you. So what you want to do is you want to go to your YouTube channel, click where it says the plus button right here, click that, click where it says go live. Okay, and then you want to click where it says classic streaming. So click this little down this little thing down here. Click that, and then Stream Now Classic. Click that. Okay. Once you click that, I want you to go down here to the bottom, scroll down, okay, and grab this URL right here. I want you to copy it. Okay. Then what I want you to do is I want you to go to that page. So you can just paste that URL in your browser and, and hit Enter. Okay, once you do that, okay, I want you to go where it says share and then click where it says embed and then click over here and copy. I want you to copy this code right here. This is some good stuff. This is good stuff, okay? It's a little technical, but if you have any questions, hit me up, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. You can email me, Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. All right, so then we're going to go back to our page. This is the page where we want to put the video. So I want you to hit plus and then put type in HTML. And then this little thing's going to pop up. Click that. The code that you copied, paste it in there. And then I want you to hit update. Okay, now when we refresh our live webcast page, there's going to be a video that pops up. And that's our live stream. 
So whenever we go live, if I go live on my website right now, on my YouTube channel, if I go live, then it'll start playing on that channel. Isn't that cool? And every time I go live, so I don't have to come updated or anything like that. So if I go to, you know, if I start going live, boom, I'm ready to roll. All right, so now you have a live feed on your live webcast page, okay? So let's go ahead and close that. Let's close that. Boom. So we'll go to our live feed, our live webcast page. There it is. You see? And then you tell the people, welcome to our live webcast. We're live every Sunday at 9 a.m. You could do your midweek service. You could do your Sunday morning service. You could do, um, you know, when, whenever you go live, this will be live. So you could put that information here. We go live Tuesdays for Bible study. We go live Thursdays for midweek service. And then we go live Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Now, how do you move this video to the center? Remember how I showed you how to do that? So let's do that now. So we're going to go to plus. I'm going to type in columns. Okay. I'm going to select the three columns. Boom. And then what I want to do is in the middle, I'm going to hit plus. Then I'm going to type in HTML. Choose that block. And then I'm going to paste that code there. This is the same code. So you can either just take this code here, copy it, and then paste it in the middle. There you go. And then you hit update. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Click on it. Click the three dots. And then you scroll and you click remove block. So now it's in the middle. So let's hit update and let's refresh. And let's see how our live webcast page looks now. We're going to refresh right here. There should be a video that's in the middle. There you go. Now, do you remember how to resize it? I'm going to go back to the page. Click over here. Remember, you go to the left. We did, I think, 15 last time, so or was it 20? So let's go ahead and stick with 20. Okay, click here. Resize it to 20. And then hit update. 19.6 is close enough. Okay, let's hit refresh. So now you should have a nice video in the middle of your live webcast page. That's rocking. That's rocking. Now, here's the cool thing. If the video is too small, they could always resize it. Like if they hit play, then they could just click down here. There's a little resize button. Let me show you. Let me refresh the page. So if it's too small, once you start watching it, it gives right there. It gives you a chance to resize it once it's live. Okay, but if you want to make it bigger, then you just go over here. You can you say it's not big enough. You can make that to 10. You come over here and make this to 10. It's just going to make your video bigger. Click update. And let's click refresh. And it's going to make the video bigger. That is nice, right? So now you have a live feed on your live webcast. So now whenever your church goes live, if you don't have a YouTube channel, get one. It's free, okay? So now what you could do is you could put a welcome video on your page, which is rocking. You know, hey, thank you for stopping by our website. Go ahead and browse around. Nice little welcome video. You can move it up if you want to. I'll show you how to do that now. And then once you, they say, man, we want to view your live webcast, you click, they click the button, it takes them to your live webcast page, and your service will be automatically go live every time you go live on YouTube. That is rocking. And this is all for free. My goodness. All right, so let's go to the home page. Let me show you how to uh, move the video up. Say you want the video to be at the top. What you do is you go to the page you want to work on. So let's go to our dashboard. Okay, let's go to the dashboard. Okay, and we want to work on our home page. So we're going to go to pages. Okay, then we're going to go to home. I'm going to click edit. Let me show you how to move the video up. Okay, or any content for that matter, if you want to move it up or down. All you can do is you go to the content, you go to the blocks. These are the blocks here. See these blocks? Okay, there's three of them. So you want to make sure you select all three of them. There it is. Yeah, all three are selected. See the arrow? If I click that arrow, it moves the video up. See that? So then I can hit update, and I can hit refresh, and the video will go from the bottom to the top. You can do it like that, too, however you want to do it. Isn't that cool? All right, so now you got a home page, a live webcast page. Let me show you how to do your blog really quick. What you do is you go to your blog. So we're going to go to the dashboard, and then you go to post. Okay, you go to post. And see, this is a sample post. Go ahead and take that out. Just hit trash. And in order to write a blog, you go to add new. 
right? And then say you're writing someone's testimony. And let me tell you a secret. The more content you write on your blog, the better because you, you have a better chance of getting people to visit your site. So you want to write blogs constantly. See, what some people do is they build a website and they don't write no content on their blog so then they don't get into the Google rankings. What ranks you is your blogs, okay? So you, let's say a uh, testimony of X drug addict or like that, okay? Boom. X drug addict. And then you just start typing. You say, hello, here is a powerful testimony of a young man or woman that has that that has been changed by the power of God. And you could just keep on typing as much as you want the whole testimony, then you hit publish. Okay? Then you hit publish again. And now what's going to happen is when you go to your blog page, you're actually going to have a blog. Oh, man, that's so cool. So the more blogs you write, people can read them. And I would leave this on the side. I kind of like that on the side because it gives you like your recent posts. So for the blog page, I would leave it. That's cool. And there you go. So now you got a home page, which is rocking. You got a live webcast page. You could put more information. You know, you want to put pictures and other cool stuff. But I just showed you the basics. You got a blog page. That's cool. Let's do a small groups page real quick, and then I'll get ready to let you go. All right, so you go back to your uh, dashboard. You go to pages, and then you go to the small groups page right here. You click edit, right? And then all you got to do is start typing in the information that you want of your small groups. For example, I click right here, and I say name. So the name of small group is the cool small group. Boom. Okay. And then I put, okay, location. Two, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, Trekker Road, Goodwood Mall. Okay. Say so that's a life group or where's the house. Okay. Uh, contact. So you could put the contact is brother on fire. Phone. 061-407-9474. So you put the phone number. And you can say uh, the day you meet, you know, uh, day and time. So you can say Tuesdays at 7 p.m., however you want to do it. You can put day and time separate. You want to make it bolder. You just click on it, right? You highlight it, click the B. You could do it like that. You could highlight it. You could even um, make it a little bit bigger by clicking the thing I told you, this little thing here. Go to heading, and you can make it bigger like that. Okay? And then you go to update. And now, when you go to your small groups page, you're going to have a small groups. Isn't that cool? So you can list all your small groups. All right? Let's do one more. So say you got name. So you just click down here. Click the plus. Okay? And then you click paragraph. Or you could just start typing, whichever one. So I could go after this seven. I could hit enter and start typing. So then I could say name again. But if you want to do it from here, you would go plus paragraph. And then it will add a paragraph for you. Okay. And then you just start typing name. Uh, the on fire small group. Okay. Small group. Boom. Okay. And if you want to make it big, you highlight it. Click the little thing there. Click heading. And then you go heading to. Make it B for bold. And then you can just put the same information, location, you know, the person's house if it's a small group, you know, one, two, three, just say put the same thing again for the sake of time. Goodwood, mall. And then you could put the contact, Sister Preacher, <laughs> Sister Preacher. All right. Then you can put uh, phone. Whatever the phone number contact that you want people to get a hold of to get a hold of the small group leader if they want their details on the website or you could put the church number for all the con for all the small groups and then you can give out the information once they call you can go day and time say this say this Bible study is on Saturdays okay so Saturdays at five o'clock p.m. 
boom. Okay, then you hit update. And then now you have another one added to your small groups. You hit refresh. There you go. So you can put your whole list of all your small groups right there. Isn't that cool? And then let me just show you how to do the contact us. Okay, they do. We do have a, a podcast, but you would need a podcast page, but you would need to have a podcast. You can do that for free if you go to, I think it's called anchor.com. They allow you to do free podcasts, and that, that's a whole mission. So I'm not going to show you how to do that right now. You could either delete that page or you could go to Anchor and then you could set up your, your podcast. And the way you would do that is you go to Anchor and it will give you what's called an RSS feed. Okay. And then you just go to edit and you would go to your, um, your podcast page. You click edit. Let me do it for you real quick because I have a podcast I can use. Okay, so ours is hosted with Spreaker. Okay, so I will go to my account. Okay, let's just do the whole website. You're getting the whole website right here for free. All this is for free. Now, but your podcast you have to pay for. The one, the service I use, Spreaker, you pay for, but Anchor is free. So if you go through Anchor, that's free also. So I'm going to go to my podcast. I'm going to go to my Rise Up Radio segment. And then they give you what's called an RSS link. Every podcast will give you that. So I'm going to click RSS link and I'm going to click copy. Then I'm going to go back to my podcast page and then I'm going to click the plus. Okay. And then I'm going to click the type in RSS. It's going to give you this option. You click that. And then that RSS feed that, you know, the RSS feed that you copy, you're going to paste that in this block right here. And then you hit use URL. You're good to go. Your podcast is up and running. And it automatically updates. That's what an RSS feed does. It automatically reads your next podcast. There it is. So I could click on here and I can listen to the latest podcast that we had. Boom. Just click play. It's ready to go. There you go. So now you got a podcast. Man, this is rocking. All right. So let's uh, go ahead and hit update and let's do our last page, which I'm going to show you how to do a contact page for free. Okay. So right now, Let's go ahead and view our website. Okay, it's looking pretty good. This is our home page. Me personally, I'm going to move this video down, but I'll do that later. Okay, and then this was our goal. I think we did pretty good. So let's work on, let me move the video now, and then we'll close it out with our contact us page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a two column. I'm going to do it like this one. See how it says the video and then writing? I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go back here. I'm gonna first of all you click on the video. You know, you click on the box, make sure all three are selected. Click your arrow to go down. Okay, now it's at the bottom. If you want to do some writing, what you could do is you can go over here. You can make this smaller. Right? Oops, sorry about that. You could you you so I I just made it two columns now. See, so I clicked, you could go to three. Or you can go to two. So I clicked on here, right? The, all three of the columns. Let me show you. You want to make sure they're all three selected. Right there. Boom. See that? They're all three selected. Then I'm going to make it two columns. Boom. And then I'm going to come over here and click plus, And I'm going to click paragraph. And I'm going to say, check out our welcome video from our newcomers pastor newcomers pastor okay boom so now you just made two columns and you click update if the video is too big for you you just come over here click on this column thing and then change your width boom okay like that however big you want to make it let's go with 30 and you hit update okay now i'm going to refresh my my website let's go ahead and actually preview it first because i didn't have the page open so preview it there you go oh, that looks nice and then you just if you want to you know view your updates you refresh right here but your page needs to be open first mine wasn't open okay so in order to open it i click preview so there it is wow that's rocking so now you got two two columns that looks really good and it's all for free all right let's do our contact us page and then we're done <clears throat> Let me get a little watcher real quick. All right, so you want to go to your dashboard. You want to go to pages. And then you want to go to contact us. 
and you click edit. Let me close this page here. Okay. Let me see. Let me close. Keep that one open. Let me close my podcast. All right. So now we are working on our contact us page. Let me show you a place where you can get a free contact form. Yes, free. Go to jotform.com. Let me go to the uh, incognito window so you can see the prices. So jotform.com. Boom. And they have a free plan. Let me show you the pricing. So you get a free plan, $24 a month, $29 a month, $79 a month. If you're barely starting off, the free plan will give you five forms. It's really simple. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so I'm going to go to jotform.com. I'm going to sign in because I have an account already. So jotform.com is going to take me to my account. All right, so then once you end, you just click create a form. All right, and this is what pops up. You're going to get something that looks like this. Once you click create a form, you're going to get like an outline of a form. Okay, see that? So I could take all this out. It's just hit delete and you take it out. Come over here, hit delete, you take it out. So you'll probably get like a basic form. Okay. So then I, all I have to do is say it's empty. I want I just come over here, hit plus, and it tells me what I want to add. So if I want to add email, I click, drag, drop. I want to put phone number, click, drag, drop. That's simple. So name email phone and then it updates automatically so whatever you want to put on your form here i just put like a uh what do you call that like a radio button so you scroll down it gives you that option see you could put text you could put multiple choice so if you know you could put a drop down so if i click and drag and i could put different choices on the drop down you know it, it's so much you can do but for a basic form Basically, for contact, name, email, <clears throat> maybe someone's phone number, <clears throat> you can make it optional. The the red um, dot means it's mandatory, so I would make the email mandatory. You click it, come over here to properties, and then you just click required, and then it will be required. Okay, so now you got a form. Once you have your form, like I said, you click and drag whatever you want, name, email, phone, and then you could put how did you hear about us and then you put options this is like an option like i said over here multiple choice okay and then once you get that you go to publish go to embed and you get this code copy code and then you go back to your website which is your contact form and i want you to hit the plus button and i want you to type in html okay and click that and that's but this is going to pop up in this uh, form right here in this area. I want you to paste that code and then click update. Now watch what happens to your contact us page. We're going to go to contact us and watch what happens. You should have a contact form. There it is. You're rocking and rolling. And all this has been done for what? Free. And the cool thing about it is whatever email you set up on your form and you set up your email information, if I fill out this form, you will get an email with everything I filled out on the form. Okay, I hope this has helped you out. You have now got a six-page website, homepage, live webcast page. You got a blog going on. You got a small groups page. I showed you how to do the podcast page. And then I showed you how to do the contact us page. You're ready to rock and roll. That's a six-page website, and this looks pretty nice. I showed you how to add the video. You know, you could get your newcomer's pastor, get the senior pastor, get one of the pastoral team, get somebody to give a shout-out, give your uh, public relations person, say, hi, my name is so-and-so. Welcome to our website. <clears throat> and if you could upload the video to YouTube, you could put it on your website. And then I showed you how to do a live webcast once you go live. People could tune into your service. And I told you the importance of leading people to your website rather than social media. Social media is leased property. Website, you own it. If you have any questions, hit your boy up at Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. I would love to help you out. Or you could post your questions in the comments section. Please subscribe if you would like more information on videos like this or you would like more videos that breaks down on how to build websites and how to take your church's online presence to another level. Go ahead and hit subscribe, all right? And that way you'll be updated when we come out with another video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section or shoot me an email. Pastor Dre at PastorDre.com. That's Pastor Dre 
at PastorDre.com. God bless you.